beings from the planet Earth. I'm just taking a little break from work, enjoying my two favorite things, a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and a joint. Anyway, that's how I uh, unwind and open up my mind so I can actually think. The burdens of the world sometimes blows off the mind to real thought, real meaningful thought. So anyway, I'm not here to convince you to smoke pot. Uh, do whatever. Um, that's just what I do. Anyhow, uh, I wanted to touch on truth or burnout for a minute. Um, and mostly because I got an email from somebody who I see as a great human being, uh, has supported me, reached out to me, been an encouragement to me. And then I, uh, you know, you don't hear from people for a while, life's busy, and then you touch base and you ask how they're doing. And this person was honest and uh, went through how he's doing and isn't doing all that great. And I think mostly uh, it's in the mind. We're reaching burnout. I'm seeing it happening to others. Uh, real good people who are wide awake and have good information and are looking for more. We're going to get burned out, folks. And I think a lot of it is humanity in general has gotten away or seemed to have forgotten, and I blame religion for this, that forgotten that this world is a battle of good and evil, plain and simple. I don't care what the label is. You can call it New World Order, Illuminati, Corporation. You, you can call it whatever makes you feel peaceful. But remember, when you start feeling peaceful, that's when you start slipping. The reason you're burdened, the reason you're depression, a heaviness, I know I feel it quite often, and you got to fight through it, folks. Be, uh, and the reason this is happening to you is because you're worthy of it, because you know the truth. And, and evil doesn't like the truth. It, it's as simple as that. You're being attacked because there's evil in the world, and evil knows its time is short. Now, I'm not a religious guy. But I do believe the Bible is based on truth. I also believe it's twisted beyond recognition. But I also believe that if you can bring yourself to believe there's something bigger than you, and, and maybe that bigger than you is the accumulation of everything that exists that has good in it, that's what I think. But however you think of God or whatever your label is, there's truth in the Bible, folks. And we're in those times. Brother fighting against brother. And you truthers know that. When you start waking up and you start trying to share the information, you're an outcast. Even your own family puts you away. Or they, they just, you know, friends stop hanging around or they're fake polite to you. Or they talk to you like you have a mental disorder. And it's very, very depressing. First you go through the anger. And, uh, you know, I, and then the depression. And then where you go from there, a lot of people quit. I'm going to ask you, don't quit. Don't quit. You're burdened because you're worthy. And if nothing more than one person is freed from their sheep-like slumber because of your struggle, the life you encounter after this life is going to be phenomenal. You'll, you'll know the meaning of it all after the fact. And that's why I refer to the Bible on these points. We, we fight against evil, folks, plain and simple. Evil has taken the form of everything that exists, but it can't take the form of truth unless it wraps itself in a lie. So anyway, push on. You're not alone. Maybe the people that you grew up with have left you, maybe your family has considered you an outcast, whatever the case, but you're not alone. I'm here reading your emails. The others are here too. We're all throwing our little bits into the ring. And no, you're not gonna stop any of this bullshit. It's going to continue to get worse until it all blows up and is destroyed, as we were told it would. Uh, fight on, don't quit. And certainly don't harm yourselves. Uh, take your pauses as you need to. You need to stay fresh. But expect, if you're really looking for the truth, 
Maybe you're a newbie, and this is all just kind of fun, and it's something to do. But when you get that reality that we're in a world of shit, you're not going to fight the evil. You're not going to stop the evil on your own. You're not going to stop the corporations. You're not going to stop the rogue governments. You're not going to stop the bullshit. <coughs> Excuse me. But you will stop it for at least one or more individuals. And your life will have great worth. And that worth will be known after you leave the physical being. But if you want to believe for one minute that you just live on this rock and then die and turn into soil, well, remember, soil brings forth life. You will remain. You will carry on. It's just a matter of whether your reward is going to be peace, truth, love, all those things that are good, or is your afterlife going to be torment? So, truthers, brace up, stand up, be strong, know that you have a huge community of love out there, and probably the family you know may go away. You may be an outcast, but you're not an outcast. You just moved to a different family, that's all. Much love, many thanks for everybody's support, and I better get going because lunch break's almost over.